Howdy folks and welcome back to the garage. First, I would like to wish everyone happy holidays, a merry Christmas, and a healthy and prosperous new year to come. Today we are previewing Wargaming's Christmas gift tank in Blitz, the T7 combat car. The T7 is a tier 2 American light tank whose design was begun in 1937 by the Rock Island Arsenal when the United States Army's cavalry branch decided to modernize and required a fully armored vehicle. While the National Defense Act of 1920 put tanks officially within the purview of the infantry, the cavalry nevertheless moved ahead with a combat car designed to get around these restrictions. Based on the M1 combat car, the T7 had six road wheels clad in bullet-resistant rubber tires, allowing it to drive on roads as a normal road vehicle would, but it also had the ability to mount tracks for cross-country travel and was fitted with one 50 cal machine gun and two 30 caliber machine guns. Here in Blitz, the T7 remains clad in its tracks at all times. 262 horsepower and a weight of only 10.16 tons gives a generous power to weight ratio of 25.8 horsepower per ton, a top speed of 56 kilometers per hour, and traverse speeds of 44 degrees for the hull and 24 degrees for the turret. Both the health pool of 225 hit points and a view range of 210 meters is among the lowest in tier 2 light tanks. Armor on the T7 is, as you can imagine, quite light, not exceeding 15 millimeters on the hull, while the turret does not exceed 12 millimeters of protection. Standing and fighting is not recommended for this vehicle. Try to remain on the move if possible and avoid being shot <laughs> as much as possible. Within Blitz, the armament consists of one 50 cal Browning machine gun capable of an average DPM of 932 hit points, which is pretty good at tier 2, with standard shell damage of 8 hit points on average and penetration average damage of 27 hit points. Aim time is quite good at 1.7 seconds, but the dispersion is quite high as you can imagine for a machine gun at 0.53. This vehicle will prove to be a challenge to many players, but if you master hit and run tactics and firing on the move, I feel that you could be successful in this vehicle. Well folks, that's all the time I have for this quick preview of Wargaming's 2015 Christmas tank, the T7 Combat Car. If you like this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up underneath, and if you really like our videos, why not subscribe? You'll get a notice every time we share awesome content, and that way you won't miss out. As well, be sure to visit our Facebook and Twitter pages to get all the info that doesn't make it into the videos. Well folks, thanks very much for stopping by and watching. I will catch you next time.